Is Hungary leaving the EU inevitable? Well, the Dutch Prime Minister seems to think so, stating in June 2021 that Hungary has no business of being in the European Union anymore. Over the last 10 years, Hungary has been accused of breaking pretty much every EU value and has been taken to the European Court of Justice multiple times. And things are unlikely to improve, as Hungary's Eurosceptic leader, Viktor Orban, recently won a record fifth term in office. Orban's collision course with the EU took off in December 2015, where his government clashed with other EU states regarding the treatment of refugees, as reports indicated that they were held in prison-like conditions, unable to file asylum applications. Predictably, the European Court of Justice ruled that this violated EU law. This wasn't the first time, as Orban's anti-immigration rhetoric continued. In July 2018, a new law was passed that criminalized people who helped foreigners apply for asylum or a residence permit. And again, the European Court of Justice got involved and deemed this as breaching EU law. Then recently, in July 2022, the EU referred two further cases to the Court of Justice. Firstly, a breach of sexual equality, which concerns a law that prohibits the portrayal of homosexuality in schools or television for under 18-year-olds. The EU argued the law violates a whole range of EU laws and principles, as can be seen in this list. Secondly, a breach of press freedom, as Orban's government recently suspended Club Radio's license, which is one of the very few independent, liberal-leaning radio stations critical of the government. And only recently, Hungary has violated the single market, as Hungary charged higher fuel prices for vehicles with foreign license plates. This may also make it to the court in the future. So over the years, multiple EU values have been broken. And it gets worse. According to Freedom House, an NGO, Hungary can no longer be labeled as a democracy, as Orban has centralized power, tilted the electoral playing field, taken over most of the media, consolidated control over education and the arts, limited the independence of the judiciary, and adopted an emergency law that allows the government to rule by decree indefinitely. And on top of all that, Orban has also shown reluctance to condemn Russia for its invasion of Ukraine. In fact, Hungarian media outlets have broadcasted pro-Russian propaganda, and Hungary has also banned arms transfers to Ukraine from Hungarian soil, and it has continued to import oil from Russia. So what now? How can the EU respond to try and reverse some of this? I think there are three things the European Commission can do, each with a different severity level. Firstly, severity level one, where the European Court of Justice can fine Hungary. The European Commission has already requested the court to do this. Next, there's severity level two. Here, the European Commission can use the rule of law mechanism to stop EU funds going to Hungary. This is also in progress, and the EU can deprive Hungary of more than 40 billion euros of EU payments. Then there's severity level 3, where the EU can activate Article 7, sometimes referred to as the EU's nuclear option, as it is the most serious political sanction on a member state. It suspends Hungary the right to vote on EU decisions. This has been tried before in 2018, but as it requires unanimous support from all EU member states, it is very hard to activate. But Hungary has recently lost some of its friends due to their stance on the Russian war in Ukraine. And therefore, Article 7 may be an option again. Ultimately, though, the EU currently cannot kick a member state out of the Union. A member can only leave via Article 50, like the UK did in 2017. So will Hungary activate Article 50? Not according to Orban, who doesn't want to leave the EU, but rather reform it, as is evident from a recent Hungarian resolution that called for the power of the EU Parliament to be reduced. And this is understandable, as Hungary is a net beneficiary, receiving more than 5 billion euros per year from the EU. Orban can also use the EU as a scapegoat for his internal problems. And surprisingly, the Hungarian population is overwhelmingly pro-EU. Therefore, a Huxit is currently highly unlikely. So what should the EU do? Let me know what you think in the comments. Sadly, I personally don't think a lot will change until a new party is voted into power in Hungary. Please subscribe and like the content and see you in the next video.